All right, this is Wiley. I'm here at CES 2019. I'm over here at the HoverServe booth, and I'm with Joseph, the CEO, and he's going to be talking to us about his bike. Can you please tell us about it? Yeah, so what you're looking at is the HoverServe S3 2019 hover bike. This right here is the world's most advanced hover bike ever created. Uh, we're at an early scale production, so what we're doing is we're taking pre-orders worldwide, worldwide right now, and then what we're doing is we're only delivering to very special circumstances, search and rescue, medical aid, things like that. It's a hover bike and it's a cargo drone. So that means is you can actually take this seat off, put an industrial case on it, and you can carry over 450 pounds of payload. Okay, awesome. So this is especially for search and rescue. Can you tell us a little bit about the drone itself? Yeah, so the drone itself, it's actually more for, uh, in the United States, it's a sport vehicle. Okay. So in the United States, this actually falls under ultralight aircraft. What that means, no pilot's license, no certification required to really? fly this. But because of that, you have to go through our three-day extensive course and pass it before we even allow you to fly it or buy the vehicle. Because we want to make sure you understand how to use it. If you're not a pilot, you need to at least know how to be a pilot somewhere. Okay, so yeah. you have quite a unique design in terms of the motors overlapping each sure. other, the propellers. Yeah. Can you tell us why you did that? Yeah, definitely. So the reason we had that uh, originally was so that we could fit it through regular doorways. One thing about the company is we everything we build has to work with current infrastructure. We don't want you to have to build helipads and runways for our vehicles. So motorcycles, we're building a flying car right now as well. Everything take off, takes off and lands in a parking spot. Um, so the original design was for that. It also helps with counterbalancing if one of the propellers goes out. So we've got a patent on a system where if one of the motors goes out, it'll automatically notice and it'll counterbalance itself as well as it can and lightly bring itself to the ground and shut itself off. Awesome. Have yeah. you tested that feature? We have tested that feature. It works? Yeah, it works. We don't want to use it, but it works. <laughs> I totally understand. Usually, actually, one thing I'll add is usually there's actually propeller guards on this. Oh, so I see. So we have propeller guards that go on the vehicle. We don't bring them for the shows. Uh, in most of our videos, we don't show it because our pilots are trained and they're only in specialized areas flying, so there's no one around it, things like that. But yeah, that is something this vehicle does have. Awesome. So can you tell us about, you know, uh, safety aspects yeah. that you have incorporated yeah. into your bike. So because this vehicle was built custom built by the company, every single aspect of the vehicle is custom. From propellers, motors, battery, flight computer. So the flight computer is actually our custom built flight computer. It's military grade. With that, we can control everything. So for instance, some flight settings, like I said, if one propeller goes out, automatically lands. Battery power runs out, it automatically lands before. Um, it's got a, a LiDAR system on the bottom, so you can actually uh, hold your altitude wherever you would like. Uh, you can set it at three feet, five feet. We also actually limit it to 15 feet in the United States just for safety because there's no parachute and things like that. Um, we also limit the speed as well. But this vehicle can actually go very fast and very high, several hundred, maybe thousand or more feet. So a very um, capable system. Very capable. It's a, we, what we call is a small helicopter, really. Okay, so what's the estimated flight time with this system? It's 15 to 40 minutes. 15 minute average with a very heavy payload, up to 40 minutes with nothing on it, maybe a camera system like that. Um, like I said, it's right now it's search and rescue. Just wait right now. Just wait right now. Um, it's a search and rescue vehicle as well. So one thing we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get a, uh, we're doing testing with search and rescue. So if someone's off in the beach, maybe a mile offshore, uh, what we're doing is uh, rather than send a helicopter and five people out to save someone, you can actually just send a hover bike out and pick someone up, bring them back to shore. If a, a service is actually wanting to actually get a demo or wants to know more about your bike, where can they reach you at? So you can reach us at uh, hoversurf.com, info at hoversurf. Uh, right now, what we're doing is you can do some test flights and some sample flights over at our San Jose, California. We've got a, we're actually based out of the Watsonville Airport. Uh, we've got a Moscow, Russia office as well. And then uh, we'll probably be opening an office in Dubai in the next year or so as well. All right, awesome. Thanks yeah. so much for the time. Thank you, definitely.